안녕하세요. 원서입니다. Hi everyone, Bahari here. Welcome to Bahari TV where you learn English and much more. Are you ready? Let's go. 안녕하세요. Welcome back. This is the third lesson of the beginner series. 잘 지냈어요? 자, 지금까지 인사하기로 배웠죠. 오늘은 쉽고 짧은 대화를 배울 거예요. 시작할까요? 가자! Before we start, download the PDF for this lesson. The link is in the description box below. We will have four conversations. There will be some new phrases that I will explain one by one, so don't worry. And the conversations are between two people, Bahari and Tim. The first conversation, Bahari and Tim meet for the first time, so they're polite and formal. I will perform for both Bahari and Tim. 이상하죠? Here's a conversation. 집중하세요. Conversation 1. Hello, my name is Bahari. Nice to meet you. Hello, Bahari. I'm Jean. It's nice to meet you too. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. And you? Fine, thank you. Sorry, I have to go now. I'm looking forward to meeting you again. You too. Have a good day. Bye. The first thing I want to tell you is about it's nice to meet you too. When you meet someone for the first time, you say nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. It's nice meeting you. I'm glad to meet you. Pleased to meet you. And a few more phrases that are not very common. All of these are formal, but nice to meet you is more friendly. You can use it with people who are the same age or younger than you. And to reply, you add to at the end of your sentence. And if you want to speak with the American English accent, instead of meet you, instead of T, you say T, meet you, meet you. When someone asks, how are you doing or how are you, you can reply with, I'm doing great, I'm doing fine, I'm doing well, etc. All of these are formal. If you want to be polite, when someone asks you how you're doing, you should say thank you, which is formal, after saying I'm doing well, because if you don't say it, it's a little bit rude. Which one do you think is better? How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Of course, the second one. You can be more friendly by asking and you. It shows that you are interested in the conversation. Which one is better? How are you doing? Fine, thank you. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. And you? By asking questions, your conversation gets longer, which is better. If you can't continue the conversation, you should say, sorry, and then give a reason. If you cut the conversation short and say goodbye, it would be rude. And the last thing I want to tell you about this conversation is that if you want to be more polite and show interest, you can say, I'm looking forward to meeting you again. And the correct answer to I'm looking forward to seeing or meeting you again is I'm looking forward to meeting or seeing you again too, or just me too. It means that you want to meet that person again. This is polite. Conversation 2. In this conversation, Bahari and Jin have become friends. Hi Bahari, how are you today? Hi Jin, great, thanks. And you? I'm fine, but I'm in a hurry. Let's catch up later. See you. Take care, bye! When you become friends with someone, you can say their first name when you greet them. Don't use their surname. You only use it in formal situations, not with friends. When you say, let's catch up later, it means you are interested in continuing the conversation, but later. Conversation 3 Hi, are you busy? Hi, no. Let's go out for dinner. Okay. Where do we go? The restaurant near my house. Sounds great. See you there. When you want to go out with someone, first you should ask if they have time or not. Are you busy and what are you doing today, tonight, tomorrow, etc. are good questions to use. These are the different ways of writing OK. Sounds great. Sounds awesome. Sounds good and cool are all good answers to an invitation in a friendly situation. It shows that you like the idea. But remember, it's always sounds. It's never sound. We use see you there for two reasons. First, because we have a location. 
and second because we have a plan. You remember that, right? In the last conversation, Bahari and Jean have become close friends. Conversation 4 Hey, what are you doing this afternoon? I have to study. Why? I'm going to the cinema. Do you want to come? Oh, sorry. I can't. Maybe next time. Have fun. When you are close to someone, you can say hey instead of hi. If you are talking about today, you can't say morning, afternoon, or evening. You have to say this morning, this afternoon, and this evening. For the night, you can never say this night. You have to say tonight. For example, what are you doing this night? This is wrong. What are you doing tonight? This is correct. What are you doing afternoon? This is wrong. And the last thing I want to tell you is that if you don't have the time to meet someone to show that you want to meet them later, you can say maybe later, maybe next time, maybe next week, etc. We are done with the third lesson. 열심히 공부하세요.